This is the door of scares. It's just an ordinary door, wood, painted red. But behind this door is death. This is death. This is a fighting bull. This is the circle of concrete that surrounds death, the Plaza Mexico. And these are the men who play with death. Luis Castro and Soldado. Oh, yeah. Ricardo oh. Torres. Hey. Calacero. Petru. Petru. Andres Blando. Petru. Hey. Antonio Velasquez. Hey. Antonio Gomez. And presenting Gilbert Rowland as Manolo Estrada. You and your Spanish dictionary, the highest price seats. Well, what do you think of Muy Alto, Liz? Mm, don't bother me. I'm on oxygen. I wonder what's going on down there below the clouds. Oh, thank you. Antonio Gomez. Oh. chances with that dangerous bull, are they? Estrada! Estrada! I'm sorry, but please. Wonder they draw these crowds. Sevilla's pleasure to introduce as our guest the internationally known sportsman and Broadway producer Mr. John Regan with his partner Bernard Flood and the lovely Mrs. Flood, formerly Lizard Macaulay, 
famous star of musical comedy. Thank you, Mr. Regan, Mr. and Mrs. Flood. How you're gonna wangle your introduction. Waiter. Yes, sir. Dear Mr. Estrada. I want you to know how thrilled I was at your artistry. Yeah. A bottle of Paul Roger for everyone at that table. Si, senor. This is a strategy, hmm? Sure, the guy's got manners. He's got to invite me over. Sure. Well, I've seen it work in the States. We shall see what we shall see. Latino. ¿Qué significa esto? Ese caballero norteamericano, un promotor de espectáculos, les envía a ustedes esto y la tarjeta para el matador. Luis, probablemente creyó que la reunión era mía. No creo que haya querido ofenderlos. De todas maneras, envío usted igual cantidad de vino a esa mesa. You uh, seem to have gone over with a big fat hush. ¿Se acuerdan ustedes acuerda usted del espartero? Mm -hmm. I'd say that little maneuver cost you about a hundred and fifty dollars. It'll get results. Don Luis de la Vega wishes to thank you. And to return your magnificent courtesy. Geronimo! Nobody let her rule our boy off for not trying. Mr. Estrada, I'd like to say I have never been as thrilled as I was in the plaza this afternoon. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Mr. Uh, Regan. May I present my wife, Senor Estrada? How do you do? How do you do? Senorita de la Vega, how do you do? Don Luis de la Vega? Don Luis de la Vega? How do you do, sir? Senora Sierra? Senora? Doctor Sierra? Doctor. Do? Senorita Rayo? Matador Luis Piones. Thank you, Well, I'd just like to thank you for this afternoon. It was wonderful. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Oh. Mr. Regan, unless you must go, I will be very happy to have you join us. Thank you, I will. I'm surprised at your English, Mr. Estrada. I do the best I can. That's perfect. Do you speak English, Miss Della Vega? Yes, Mr. Regan. That's fine. Would you dance the next dance with me? No, thank you. Senorita de la Vega could not possibly dance this evening, senor. Uh, she is, uh, how do you say it in English, darling? Preocupada. Preoccupied. You saw the Goring this afternoon. Oh, how stupid of me. I meant to ask, how is he? It could have been serious. 
Señorita de la Vega and Antonio have known each other for a long time. Naturally, she's worried about him. I see. Oh, Mr. Riga, uh, will you show your wristwatch to, to my wife? Uh, I noticed that when we shook hands. Look at the band, Cello. You had champion skid shot? Was, in 1945. My husband is very good with a gun. Oh, what things you say, woman. Oh, you are so modest, darling. Why, yesterday he broke seven before missing even once. How many did you break in the national championships without a miss, Mr. Regan? 100 the first day. And the second day? 150. But I fell apart in the 77th bird in the next event. You see, Cello? You know, Mr. Regan, I am planning to retire from the bull ring this season. And uh, in view of that, I, I have searched for a hobby. I tried tennis, high ally, golf, but I don't like those games. Then I fell in love with Skeet. But unfortunately, I am no good at it. Maybe you weren't taught properly. Oh. Maybe. Mr. Regan, I would like to ask you a favor. Could you find a moment to instruct me? I'll find more than just a moment. On one condition. On any condition. Could you teach me to be a bullfighter? Ay, chihuahua. All right. We try. What do you think of that, Miss Della Vega? I think that's wonderful, Mr. Regan. It should be a very interesting experiment. If you'll excuse me, Chelo, I must go back to the hospital. Yes, I'm Good night, Manolo. Good night, Anita. Good night, sir. Good night. Buenas noches. Buenas noches, Don Luis. Buenas noches. Buenas noches. Anita is not usually like this. But the event this afternoon has upset her. You know, sometimes I think Sunday afternoons are, are much more agonizing to the women who pray at home than for the men who fight in the ring. When my husband retires, it will be my day of days. I have promised that it will be before a certain date. Before the arrival of our, uh, of our child. Our son. Cello, you're always so sure of everything, aren't you? Well, when do you want to start your skeet lessons? Tonight. With luminous birds? <laughs> <laughs> All right, tomorrow morning, 10 o'clock. Fine. Do you have guns? Uh -huh. Ammunition? Yes. Good. I'll bring the birds and the trap boy. That'll be great. All right. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> You'll soon be doing the same. You see, your whole body pivots around your ankles. That way you've got to follow through and you won't stop your gun. Now, you've got a tendency to stand stiff and move your shoulders against your body. Relax, follow through, let it go. Good job. Well. Start your gun right about, right about here. Follow through. Hey, Chihuahua! My first double! You shot him right in the eye. <laughs> we shot him in the eye. Next station. 17 out of 25. I'm a male Annie Hookley. Hookley. Now that you have given me my first lesson in skeet, I will give you your first lesson in bullfighting. I put the gun away. Fine. So he wants to be a bullfighter. Oh, I said it. We know you said it. Tell us why. It's the tomboy in me.
Maybe they start you out with tame bulls. Not too tame. It was unfair of me to let you worry. I really thought there might be live bulls. Mr. Regan, it'll be many months before you'll be in the ring with even small calves. And another thing, you call me Manolo, and I call you Johnny. Since we are going to spend a lot of time together, it will be ridiculous to stand on ceremony. I'd like that. Uh, let's go to the ring to the quadrilla entrance. Well, how do you like it from here? It's terrific. See that Toretto over there? Mr. Cape, when he wants to be. Luis Castro, el soldado. That pass is called the Veronica, the basic pass in bullfighting. The first one you will learn. You know, Johnny, during a week, you can almost see a whole bullfight here, in sequence. <laughs> that pass is called a gaonera. The torero is uh, Andres Blando. Do all the top bullfighters, like yourself, do they work out here every day? Every day. Look, Ricardo Torres, a fine matador. Great with the banderillas. Ole! Hola, Hola Ricardo. <laughs> Arturo Alvarez, Vizcaíno. Brave, intelligent, a good torero. Uh -huh. Hey, I'll bet that pass with the guy doesn't move takes a lot of stuff. It does. Pase de la muerte, the pass of death. That's Pepe Mora, a very tragic case. Buenos días, maestro. Hola, Panchito. ¿Cómo estás, hijito? Bien, matador. <laughs> hey, Johnny, this is Panchito. Este es el señor Regan. Mucho gusto. How are you? Y este es el señor Flood. Mucho gusto. Hi, mister. Well, we're in luck. You will start with a little bull. Let's go to work. Most Yankees believe that bullfighting is based on agility, on keeping out of the way of the bull, like this. That's wrong, John. Completely wrong. Bullfighting is based on placing yourself in front of the bull and deceiving him with a cape to make him change his cause. Now watch. Hey, hey, Torito. Hey, hey. Hey, hey, Torito. Hey. Espera, Panchito. All right, Johnny, you try it. Okay, spread your hands. Hey, what do you, what do you do about the wind? You sweat it out, just as we do. More accidents have been crossing the bull ring from the wind than from anything else. All right, don't bend your knees. You're not shooting speed. Spread your hands out. Now side him like I did. Call him, call him. Hey. Hey. Hey! Okay, let's <laughs> Well, Panchito's only following the cake. Yeah, yeah, hijo, es un toro muy bravo. Ana, ponte allá. Vete. Here. I'll show you. Throw it out here. Spread your hands out. Mm -hmm. This way. Don't bend your knees. Keep the cake low. All right, sign it. Hey, hey! Hey, Torito! Hey, Torito! Hey. Stand still, Johnny, stand still and put your feet together. Very good, Johnny. Very good. Oh, are you kidding? At least you made him go past you. That's very important. Hey, Panchito. <laughs> You're dynamite, brother. Oh, thanks a lot. How do you say tomorrow? Mañana. Mañana. Hasta mañana, Hasta mañana. mañana Panchito. Adios, Andres. Adios, Luis. Adios, Adios Ricardo. Adios. 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 Adios.
much did you give him? A dollar. American? Yeah. You made him very happy, Johnny. Oh. ¿Cómo te sientes, Antonio? Bien, maestro. Poco molesto, nada más. Antonio says he's not in pain. Just a little uncomfortable. When a matador is very young, he never admits that he is in pain. But when you have been around as much as I have, Johnny, I can tell you differently. That wounds are very painful. Would you mind waiting outside for me, Johnny? No, not at all. Goodbye, Mr. Gomez. Adios. Tell him I hope he gets well very soon. Good evening. Good evening. Speak with you a minute, Miss Della Vega. I'm sorry, I'm late now. Buenas noches, señorita. Buenas noches, Pepe. ¿Qué tal, Antonio? Regular. Oh, my. Well, hello again. This is Matador de Toros, Pepe Mora. And Senor Regan. Mucho gusto. How do you do? Con permiso. I saw him in the plaza this morning. Anolo said he was tragic. Why? I don't think you'd understand, Mr. Regan. Look, Miss Della Vega, I don't know what I've said to offend you. I'd like to know. All right. I thought you were very obvious last night. And I resented your flippant attitude toward bullfighting. I didn't mean to be flippant. There are a lot of things I don't know about. Bullfighting, Mexico. I should have realized that. Since this happened yesterday, I haven't made much sense. I've lived in your country long enough to know you just don't know about these things. Forgive me. Miss Della Vega, now that we're friends, perhaps some night we could have dinner together. Tonight. Tonight, now? On one condition. You can make all the conditions you wish. You are my guest. Right? I wish you'd let me pay for some of this stuff. Remember, you're my guest.
Joe! Joe, it's Anita. Anita, it's wonderful to see you. Come in, come in. Hello, good evening. Joe, this is Mr. John Regan, a countryman of yours. Oh? Mr. Joseph Jameson. How do you do? How do you do? Here, let me take those things. Thank you. Make yourself at home. Say. Kind of rough, huh? It was. That's the fatal goring of Carmelo, Silverio's brother. He was a very dear friend of mine. Was this man killed too? Yes, wonderful Torero, Alberto Balderas. Come in, come in. Mr. Jameson has collected these pictures over a period of many years. Research for his book on bullfighting. Mr. Regan is becoming quite a bullfight fan, Joe. I'd say I'm a little more than a fan, Mr. Jameson. I'm going to try to be a bullfighter. Why? Why do men fight bulls, Joe? I wish I could tell you that. I've been trying for 20 years to find out why men fight bulls. A Yankee wanting to become a Torero is too much for me. Hey, that's a wonderful face. He was a wonderful man. Was? That is Manolete, Johnny. Well, of course, I've heard of him. He was killed in Spain by a Mura bull. In my opinion, Mr. Regan, Manoletti was the greatest of them all. He was a friend of yours? Very close friend. Do any live fighters still let you be friends? You mean I might be a jinx? No, I don't think that's true. Many toreros die in the ring. Anita, you have brought a feast. She comes here pretending she likes to have dinner with me, but actually she knows the food she brings helps relieve the pressure on my empty pocketbook. Do take your coat off. Be comfortable. Mr. Jameson, I'd like to read your book on bullfighting. I've never published it. Why not? It's as I've said. I've never been able to discover the real reason why men risk their lives before the horns. In the beginning, I thought I had the obvious answer, money. My Torero friend at the time was very poor and just beginning to make a decent living. After he was killed, I traveled with another who was rich before he became a Torero. So the money motive was worthless. Tell him of Pepe and Fernando. With Pepe, I decided the Torero's motive was adulation. The cheers of the crowds, the girls. Pepe loved the girls. I thought I had the answer. Then I met Fernando, who ultimately retired to become a monk. Retired? Glad to hear about him. What about the other fellow, Pepe? Killed in Sevilla. Excuse me, I have to get some glasses. Seguro, Panchito. Panchito says the bull is not going to stop just because you dropped the cape. So why should he? And he's right. Panchito is your friend. That's why he filed the point sharp. So you'll remember these mistakes. Tough more I said he filed them. Well, let's try it again, Johnny. What do you have, Panchito? Ha ha! Ha ha! Oh, man, 
talking about. I hate to admit it, son, but you're getting to be pretty good at this stuff. Thanks, Bart. What's the matter with you? Are you out of your head? Practicing timing. All the Toreros do it. See how close you can stand to the car without moving. I suppose the drivers are in on this gag. What difference does it make? Hey! Buenas tardes, Torero. Hello, hello. Didn't anyone ever tell you I always hook to the right? <laughs> hello, Barney. Hi, Anita. Manolo says that a real Torero always leaves a bull with great dignity. <laughs> Ignore this man. I hope you've come to accept my invitation to dinner, which I'm now delivering. No. I've come to invite you all to the tienta at our ranch. I understand you're ready to try your luck with the calves. And after the tienta, Manolo is going to fight a full-grown bull. Hey, that's great. He'll pick you up at 7 tomorrow morning. Hop in and I'll drive you back to the hotel. No, thanks. I think I'll stay here and have a beer. Adios. Adios. Ole. What's a tienta? Well, they test calves to see if they're brave. If they are, they save them for breeding stock. If not, they fatten them for beef. <laughs> well, I guess this is the night you get the telegram about your grandmother calling you back to Pocatello, huh? They're only calves. Aren't they called, uh, fighting calves? Sure, calves, no horns. It'll be fun, I'm going. Well, cherchez la femme. And that ain't Spanish, chum. I'll do it, Manolo. No, I'm dirty already. Oh! Oh! Be careful. Here, let me see that. Move your fingers, Manolo. I don't think it's broken, Johnny. The fingers work. Yeah, but it's very badly sprained. Mm. It would be the right wrist. They can wait until next year to see you fight. They will be disappointed, Cello. Wouldn't have a chance. A big bull and small ring on my husband with no wrist? Oh, Cello! Johnny, will you please put the tire on? You bet. Damper. Damper.
these are the calves? Some of us didn't think they'd have horns. Let's have a look at the bull Manolo was supposed to bite. Anita, does, uh, does anybody ever get hurt at these Tienta things? Sometimes, surely, but hardly ever fatally. She read that straight. That character's indignant about something. I'm well, indignant about everything. I think this one will be very brave. On the day he was born, he tried to charge the herdsman. He'd better go down in the ring. They always say brave. Wouldn't deadly be a better word? I wish I got that telegram about my grandmother. This little one looks good, Johnny. She'll probably be safe for breeding. She? Mm -hmm. Male calves are never tested with the Cape of the Muleta. They would remember too much. And when full grown, would be impossible to work with. Why do you hurt the calves if you're going to use them for breeding? We don't hurt them. He's only using the pick to protect the horse. Then why the horse? This is the only way we can judge their courage. Brave calves, you consider everything its enemy and charge everything in sight. They sure are brave. Go out and do Veronica's. Luck. but I was so excited, I forgot I was scared. Come on, Olo. Can I go out again? In a moment. Can I finish with the Revelera? No. You said I was good with it. No. Do Veronica. Finish with a media Veronica. But this time, leave with a little dignity. Okay. Say when. Hey. You like this. Now, Johnny. Disobeyed me, you tried to be fancy, and you started the revolera too soon. How is the leg? Oh, it's nothing. Ah, if it had been a bull. 
Amen. A guy isn't permitted many mistakes in this racket, is he? Some are allowed a few. Others, only one. Con permiso. Maestro. Well, Antonio. Gracias. You're not going to let Antonio fight, are you? You mean because of the wound? Barney, Antonio Gomez is a torero. Can I go out again? Not now. Let's watch Antonio. Manolito, estoy cansado de verte descansar tanto, hombre. <risa> hombre, torero, tienes tan bonita figurita. Deja que la miremos, ¿eh? <risa> ¡Dole! ¡Ándale! <risa> hey, what's going on? The song, the tequila. ¡Hey, matador! ¿Qué te parecen muy grandes las muchachitas esas? ¿Eh? <risa> He feels cheated. He wants me to fight. She hooks to the left, Johnny. Chicolina. la fiesta de esta noche ¿Eh? <risa> <risa> ¡Ah! mira ¡Ah! ¡Ah! mira Queridos amigos, nuestro querido amigo y gran maestro Manolo Estrada no podrá torear. Se ha falseado la muñeca en un accidente viniendo al rancho. ¿Accidente? ¡Sombrilla que! Lo que pasa es que el torero este está ahora muy rico para torear para los pobres. ¡Eso es, muchachos! ¿Qué está diciendo? Está acusando a Manolo de cowardice. No, Johnny. ¡Suelten al toro! ¡Antonio! ¡Te ordeno que no! Antonio. Si tienes miedo, ¿por qué no dejas que toree el muchacho? Él no es cobarde como tú. I 
may be able to do left-handed passes with the muleta. But I want you to make the decision. Go out, Manolo. Buena suerte, mi vida. Something you must let me do. Oigan, estúpido. Juré que lo mataría si algo le pasaba a mi esposo. Ahora se lo agradezco. Porque con eso ha hecho que les demuestre que es el hombre más grande del mundo. Y a mí me ha hecho sentir más orgullosa de llevar su hijo en mis entrañas. Guarde este recuerdo para que nunca se le olvide el día en que usted, cobarde, fue testigo del valor de un verdadero torero. Forgive me, forgive me. Forgive you for what? For loving your husband? It must have been some speech. What did she say, Anita? Cello said that she had vowed she would kill him had Manolo been hurt. Instead, she thanked him for forcing her husband to prove that he was a greater man than even she had known. She's a wonderful woman. In Mexico, we say she has stature. So many of you have. Johnny, today I was proud of you. 
I tried. Manolo worked so hard, I really wanted to be good. Being good's unimportant. Today, I think you really felt it. I feel a lot of things more than I can tell you here. Let's go someplace where we can talk. Not now. I must change clothes for the fiesta. I've got to get cleaned up, too. Let's go. Buscando consuelo para tu dolor y curé la herida de tu amarga pena y calme tus ansias con todo mi amor. El tiempo ha pasado, tus ojos no lloran, tus labios se ríen de mi gran pasión. Con luto en el alma, tú llegaste un día. Buscando consuelo para tu dolor Y curé la herida de tu amarga pena Y calme tus ansias con todo mi amor El tiempo ha pasado, tus ojos no lloran, tus labios se ríen de mi gran pasión. El luto en el alma, yo soy quien lo lleva. Anita, I had the most beautiful guy showing me this tequila routine when along she comes and drags him off into the garden. Hey, you leave me with some of this equipment, will you? I uh, seem to be short a third hand. What's the matter with our boy? Love, to boil it down to one word. Espero que Johnny no se desanime mucho con las volteretas que le dieron hoy las peseras. Voy a tener que platicarle lo de mi primera tienda. Si cree Johnny que él estuvo mal, lo hubiera visto a mí. Dile que estuvo muy bien para un principiante. Lo haré. La primera vez que lo vi en el ruedo fue en Piedras Negras. Estuve muy mal. Pasé más tiempo en el aire que Johnny. Me siento muy contento por ti. Estoy seguro que tú y Johnny van a ser muy felices. Gracias. Buenas noches. I'm going to be laughed at. I'd like to be present. You don't understand. I think I do. You're ridiculing me. A fresh American jerk who tried to be a bullfighter. Oigame, Johnny. <coughs> Antonio, por favor. You may leave here as soon as it's convenient, Mr. Regan. Now it's convenient. Ya nos veremos. No, Antonio. Hazlo por mí. Hi, 
Anita. Welcome. How are you? Isn't that Antonio's car? Uh-huh. He loaned it to me, which made Barney furious. <laughs> Come on, follow me back to the house. Oh, no. Let's just stay out here. You mind? Anita, I guess I'm a goodwill ambassador. Did Johnny send you? No. But I took pity on the poor guy. Oh, he's suffering. I'm glad you came. But it won't do any good. Oh, look, he lost his head, that's all. I'll explain to you, because we're friends. What Johnny did was unforgivable. And dangerous. Except for our friendship, Antonio would have killed him. I think you mean that. About Antonio? Mm-hmm. Of course. You see... When I knew I was in love with Johnny, I had to tell Antonio immediately. Both our families had always hoped we would marry. It was easier to let them think that. Even though we both knew we never would. We'd made a promise to tell each other if either of us fell in love with someone else. And that's what I was doing when Johnny made such a fool of himself. But a man's entitled to a mistake. A mistake? Yes. What hurts is that he didn't believe me. I can never forget that. Come on. Anita. Your standards are very difficult. But I have to admit they're high. Will you buy me a cup of coffee? Buenas tardes. Buenas tardes. Is Senor Manolo Estrada aquí, over here? At his home, they said he would be. Uh, no speak English. Manolo Estrada. Ah, el matador. Yeah. Sí, se está bañando ahí. Fine. Sí. Mister, cinco pesos. Uh, look, I just want to see him. Sí, pero yo no speak English. Eh, cinco pesos. All right. <laughs> este, este está bueno. Este está bueno. Pase usted. Muchas gracias. Forget it. Pepe. Buenas tardes. Hello, Pepe. Pase. Hey. All I want to do is see Manolo. Sí, sí, sí. Okay, okay. Manolo. Hello, Johnny. How are you? I missed you. I've been doing a lot of thinking. Will you go to Anita for me? I did. But I was very unsuccessful. Wait, Johnny. Wait. Time. Time. Manolo. I'd like to continue with my instruction. Do you really want to be a torero? I'll be honest, I don't know. I want to fight one bull. You want to impress Anita, huh? Maybe that's part of it. But mainly I think I'd like to get that kick just once. Hmm. Oh, another thing. I want to apologize to Antonio. Antonio. Quiere el amigo Regan que lo perdones.
<risa> I'm glad you two are friends again. Y dígale también que quizá usted y yo podamos arreglar con las autoridades de Querétaro que venga como sobresaliente mío cuando autorice su corrida. Sí, Antonio has a wonderful suggestion. He says maybe we can arrange it with the authorities so that you can go with him to Querétaro next month as a sobresaliente. A substitute Torero? Yes. Maybe... Maybe you can make a few passes with one of the bulls. Who will I be ready for? You have made much progress, Johnny. We'll see. Don't worry. I don't intend to let you get killed. Con permiso. Pasa, Antonio. Manolo. Hola, Pepe. What's all this about Pepe being tragic? He caused his brother's death. For Pete's sake, how? That's all right. He doesn't understand English. They were fighting together in Sevilla. His brother was making manoletinas. He stepped out from behind the burladero, distracted the bull's attention. The bull hooked. The boy died in the ring, a horn through his chest. How could he do a thing like that? Who knows? A thoughtless action, nervousness, anxiety. It can happen to any of us. Happened to Pepe. Come on, let's go in the massage room, huh? Por favor, señora. Sí, cómo no. She understood me. I said, if you please. Antonio? He's so very helpful. Do you know what he told me? In the old days, fighting bulls were pitted against lions and tigers and even elephants. And they won. I bet they did. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Muy sabroso, señora. Gracias. Very tasty. I should have brought my Phi Beta Kappa key. Oh, Tony, cello, buenas noches. Buenas noches. Buenas noches. Buenas noches. Buenas noches. Hiya. Are you hungry? Hmm? Oh, he's always hungry. Dinner will be ready in a few minutes. Uh, Tony, ha have you been outside tonight? Oh, it's so beautiful. <laughs> Dice que si no has visto la noche, que está muy bonita. No. Well, then. ¿Me permite? Hmm? Uh, just say see, darling. Live, see. <laughs> you know, Liz, one of these days I'm going to take up a dangerous profession. We've got to be safe. Hi. Good evening, John. How do you feel, Johnny? Tired? No, I feel fine. Dinner ready? Just about. Excuse me. I didn't know you were here. I have no wish to see you ever. Ever's a long time. Shalom. Manolo. Please excuse me, I'm tired. I'd like to go to my room. Anything you wish, Anita. Good night. Sleep well, Anita. Well, Cello invited Anita without telling her that you were here. It didn't work. It certainly didn't. 
The Latin temperament is very strange, Johnny. I'm learning that every day. Thanks for the frame up. Mi vida, no te molestaría que hablara yo con Johnny. Bueno, si quieres hablar con él, habla. Johnny, listen to me very carefully. It is very difficult for me to explain. I've only known one man. I belong to my husband completely. I see as he sees, I do as he does. He's my life. I am not so different than Anita. We are both Mexican, we think alike. Aditienta, I saw her look at you like I know I look at Manolo. With Anita, it has never happened before. I don't think it would happen again. That's why I'm trying to help you. Thank you, Cello. It's wonderful the way you and Manolo treated me. A complete stranger. When friends meet for the first time, they are no longer a stranger. Wait a minute. Don't go into dinner right now. Walk around for a few minutes and then go into the chapel. Please. Okay.
Gracias, Antonio. De nada, maestro. She's gone, huh? Yep. No note, no nothing. El hombre propone y Dios dispone. A man proposes and God disposes. Johnny, why don't you try to acquire some of our fatalism, huh? I'm trying, Manolo. Let's go to work. Right. Yes, Olga! Ha ha! Ha ha! Ha ha! Mas! Mas! Bo, Johnny! Ha ha, Becerra! Ha ha, Bonita! Mira! Míralo! Eh! Ha ha! Ay! Ay! Circle, Johnny, circle. Oh, more. Ha ha. Ha ha. Ha ha. sending my best corrida to Querétaro for Antonio. You know, after a torero has been gored and he fights again, he needs a good bull to restore his confidence. One that is noble, brave. See that one over there? Number 78? His name is Amapolo. You can never tell definitely about a bull. I swear on my mother, he will be a brave one. How do you judge a bull? For the size and spread of horn? Blood, cast. Besides, we have breathing records to go by. Sometimes we guess. We always pray. You will pray too.
Gracias, Antonio. Manuel. Buenas tardes. What's wrong? What happened, Johnny? Hey, what is this? Right. I changed my mind. That's why I'm late. I can't wear your outfit, Manolo. That's for the real Toreros. That's going to be trouble. What do you mean trouble? You have broken every tradition of the bull ring. These customs are sacred. Well, it's too late now. What's the matter, Johnny? Your mouth dry? I don't know what happens to us on days of corridas. Our mouths always seem to dry up. It must be from the excitement. It could not possibly be that we're a little afraid. Good luck, Johnny. chance out there, you do exactly as I tell you. You understand? Yes, ma'am. See the name of the first bull? I told Antonio to put him a pole on the first spot. If he is the kind of a bull I think he is, Antonio will make a monumental comeback. Clear up. I need to know you have been working very hard and very seriously. She is here for your morale. My morale is 30 points above the boiling point right now. Do you think Antonio let me work with Amapolo? That would be too much to expect. Antonio needs a good pull more than you do. Here it comes now.
Straight like a railroad train. I knew it. a la autoridad, dé su permiso para que mi amigo norteamericano haga un quite. He's asking permission for Johnny to make a quite. Gracias. Hay que esperar mucho para que salga un, to un toro como este. Espero que nuestro amigo lo aproveche. Suerte. Antonio is offering you a quite. If you want to do it, Go ahead. But be careful, Johnny. Make wide passes. Wide ones.
I've looked everywhere for you. I've been a lot of places. Except for Panchito, I'd never have found you. You must leave Mexico. They'll kill you. Johnny, I love you. If you die, I'll die too. You must leave. I can get a plane for you in 15 minutes. There's no other choice. What else can you do? I don't know what I'm going to do. But it's got to be my decision. Let me alone, Anita. But you need me to... charge of the bull ring, aren't you? I own the concession. Why? I want to buy a seventh bull for Sunday. An extra bull that I'll fight. Impossible. You get permission from the Matadors Union and I'll fight. This is ridiculous. Look, if the people knew the gringo who caused Manolo Estrada's death was going to appear, you'd have to be killed, if not by the bull by the crowd. That's my lookout. No, no, Regan, it's impossible. Now go before I call the police. should have let us know where you were, Johnny. Did you go to the funeral? He said if I went, there'd be a riot. There would have been. character. I've said many a sharp word to you. You're not such a bad guy, though. Hello? Oh, I'll take the message. What? 
Very well. I'll tell him. Johnny, that was Dr. Sierra. He says you've got your seventh bull and they've started the advertising. What? For him on Sunday. Are you crazy? Look, Barney, the money from the bullfight goes to Chalo. Will you let him alone? You wouldn't have a chance. Uh, we're not talking about the same thing. All right. I was saving this for you. Pepe Mora was killed yesterday in Guadalajara. It is not necessary for you to speak, John. I came because Manolo would have wanted me to. I shall pray for you today. And my husband will guide your hand. Muy buena suerte, John. Gracias. Y muy buena suerte para todos.
Take it easy. I don't fight in the seventh row.
señor juez, el quite que me corresponde se lo cedo a Johnny. ¿Me da usted permiso? No, Luis, no. Soldado is giving his quite to Johnny. Venga, Johnny. Por si Polina se hace el quite. Gracias, juez. Take him over there. Now what's the matter? He was afraid to go to the center of the ring for the dedication. The bowl was too close. What do you mean afraid? The bowl's been a lot closer than that. Show them what you taught me. Now bring him over here. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. 
última faena de Manolo Estrada. The last bullfight of Manolo Estrada. Fantastic. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for allowing me to appear like this for the last time. Gracias por haberme permitido aparecer así por la última vez. No! I'm no Torero. The man you saw with my bull this afternoon was Manolo Estrada. His hands made every pass. Yo no soy torero. El hombre que vieron con mi toro esta tarde fue Manolo Estrada. Sus manos me guiaron en todo. Ready on? Sí, señor. Chelo. Thank you for your prayers.
Toledo. It's all yours, Toledo. Johnny! Johnny!